yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Oh, snap. We got a new little project going here. I think you guys are going to be pretty excited about. I know I'm excited, and I know Cooper Spaghetti is very excited. Guys, this is what it comes down to this video. Cooper had a parts incident. A parts incident is the act of purchasing hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars worth of car parts by mistake. And uh, Cooper's gonna go ahead and fall in the thousands part of that definition, parts incident. But yeah, again, he had a major parts incident, which, you know, we've all kind of had. With the help of your comment on the one video where I told Cooper he needs to just send it and throw an LSA on his CTSV-1, Guess freaking what, it's going down. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Boom. Freaking LSA blower off a of CTS V2. This is a used blower. Yeah. But I'll go into all the price on another video on everything. Yeah, yeah, we'll get all the prices, but it's gotta have the snout sent out, machine, and a bigger pulley than what Leroy had put on it. But uh, that's really pretty easy. You go to Olsen Custom Works, send it out, and then he sends back the adapters because Cooper also has cathedral port heads like Leroy did, so you have to run the uh, square port to cathedral port adapters. It's a little beat up on the other side. Oh, snap. Because yeah, it is well, a these, recall pull off. These rivets just come right out. You didn't know all of the V2s have recalls for the isolator. Yeah. So they all had to just get pulled off and they were sold. Oh. So this one was a pull off. You get them for about seven to 800 bucks. Damn. You gotta spin the pulley. Give her a spin. You can tell how bad the isolator is. It's like, oh yeah, it's got some. Mm, it still works though. Looks like everything works good in there. Oh yeah. We could have used the blower off of Leroy, but um, that's Jeremy's blower, and the uh, the pulley is too small for Leroy. Cooper's not going to be running as much boost. All right, so the blower is cool, but. Cooper's I went a little different route on the lid. He did, he did. He kind of... I probably did what everybody was saying to, for you to do. I know, I know. But we already had those parts, so this is different. Uh. This isn't used either. This is a brand new ZL1 lid. Ah, uh, yes sir. That's so nice. And then some people machine these lips too, so it has like uh, machine metal exposed on the top. Well, they have just... to for clearance on the V2s. Oh, really? They don't fit under the hood without machining it. Oh, if you do the So ZL. it does look nicer, but it doesn't actually fit without yeah. it either. So this is, if you remember Leroy's, his was like an exposed metal lid. That's like the CTSV lid. This is a ZL1 lid. So the same one that like Nick Guitar Mageddon has on his car. So I had the water ports in the back. The ZL1 lid has them in the front and Cooper will have an expansion tank on his car as well. If you're wondering if this will fit under the hood, the answer is definitely not. The, it is well, probably going to be exposed by like four inches. Yeah, because this is even like, taller than the lid I had, right? Yeah. If you remember how tall the blower was on Leroy with the adapter plates and the thermal reduction plates, I mean, the blower sticks up high. There's not much clearance under Cooper's hood already. We're going to have to cut the hood and, and this thing's going to stick out, which is actually going to look pretty like, savage. At least right to there. You think that that much? Yeah. Damn, that'll be savage. It's, this will be coming out. It's gonna I think it'll sick. look cool though. For sure. All right, so we put some t-shirts down under uh, this lid, but it's not gonna stick out this high, but you're definitely gonna see these ridges when the hood is cut, and it will sit back further, but damn, it's gonna look so sick when that thing's just like peeking out the back of the hood a little bit. Yeah, this is this definitely shows a little more, but I'm telling you, when just those ridges are sticking out, maybe a little machining on them, gonna look sick. Some people won't dig the, uh, the cut hood look, but there's no other way to clearance it, and the aftermarket hoods are either really expensive or, I don't know, they just don't look that good, so I think this is the best route. You, you guys know me, I kind of like it a little outrageous, so you know, people know you like the party. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sure you guys are wondering, stock CTS V1 diff? The answer is yes, as of right now. I kind of want to see the rear diff, like, okay, if you guys don't know this about CTS V1s, they are notorious for having like the worst rear diff ever to go into production for a performance GM car. They will grenade after almost any torture. Cooper's had his car on the track, um, I don't know, he probably made what, three or four passes in it. And he didn't blow his up, but he was also being very nice to it. With this blower, there is absolutely zero doubt that the, the diff will explode. Cooper's even smirking, he knows. 
instant torque from this blower. Yes, yeah, just... that's right. The LSA instant torque will definitely um, do some damage. Cooper's a little apprehensive to see the diff uh, explode, but you know, I kind of want to see it go down. I kind of think the internet needs to see you blow the stock rear diff out of the V. Yeah, we should test what kind of 60 foot I can get on yes. the stock diff. We should bet on it. <laughs> We should definitely come up with a betting scheme. Post your times below. What is the fastest 60 foot Cooper will get out of the CTSV before that stock diff explodes? It is a 4,200 pound car without oh, me in it. She's thick. So She is thick. Plus you're adding a lot of weight with the fuel system and the blower. And then an expansion tank in the back that's going to hold like five gallons. Yes. So coming soon, CTSV rear diff exploding video. I'm honestly pretty excited to see it happen. I also have pretty sticky tires. Sticky tires. I don't want to be the only one on this channel that, that broke. Well, I didn't blow my diff. I broke the stock output shaft, but still, I want to see Cooper in that club. Up next on Cooper's parts list is an LSA fuel rail. So you guys probably remember on Leroy, we had the ZR1 fuel rail that Jeremy had laying around. Well, Cooper here has a legit LSA fuel rail. This will uh, be able to flow plenty of fuel for the power levels that he is going for. What injectors are you going to do? I'm going to do 850. Okay. Which is what we had on Leroy when we had the LSA. Plenty. It should be plenty. We might need is this brand new? Yeah. Oh, shawty. Mm -hmm. She's nice. Mm. Yep. So sexy. Up next, throttle body. Skidang doodly. Used stock LSA throttle body. Perfect. I'm not sure if it's exactly the one I'm going to be going with, but I got it because it was cheap. Cam stock and head stock because I want to see what just this blower will do, and then I'll upgrade that stuff to see yeah. what... I like it. So I can kind of yep. know he's... the whole process. So stock heads, probably. Stock diff for now, probably. Stock trans for now, probably. How many miles are on your car? There is 115,000. 115,000 miles, and uh, he's going to be going all out with this here LSA build. It should be pretty fast. I mean, I imagine you could get into the tens. So the car ran a 14.0 stock. With a, with me soft being launch. So soft on it. So there's so much left in this car. And uh, hopefully Cooper can get her in the tens. I think that's the goal, maybe a low 11. I think this is the start of something really good for the CTSV. I think this is definitely not gonna be the end just doing the blower, I'm sure Cooper is going to turn this thing into a kind of a full-blown race car, street car, as this process goes, which is awesome. I am happy to see him getting this thing down the track a little bit faster than just a stock V. And the cool thing is he's buying all this stuff kind of with the relaxed state. There's no rush on this, so he's getting good deals, and uh, you guys will be able to see what a budget CTS V1 LSA swap build looks like. I was going to end that video right there, but I'm actually heading to Jeremy's for his son's birthday party. There's an obstacle course and Jeremy called me out, says he's gonna beat me. And uh, you know what? I gotta just show the internet that I am faster than Jeremy, whether it's my 60 foots or my freaking obstacle course running. I'm like a agile gazelle and I'm gonna show him what's up. Goodness gracious, Jeremy. This thing is massive. Where did you get this? It's huge. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah. So are you sponsored by Surf Style? Uh, no, no. Is that your... Um, I just represent the same. I mean, we minimize it to like, if you're gonna mess with the other person, like ankle biting or like choke holes or what, how, how far are you gonna go with it? I would say ankle biting is probably... Acceptable? Yeah. What are you... I don't know about YouTube's uh, community standards, if that's cool, but we'll do it. Does that even mean you I'll can go when you say go? Like, yeah, you have to, you can't go until someone says go, so, but... All right, two, one, go! Oh, he's moving on you. <laughs> no. just died. Oh. Oh. I got gas. Alright, best two out of three. <laughs>
But he really started putting ground on the top end. Yeah, he's like a turbo car. He came in. Dude, he got me so good on the start there. Yeah, but then the top end hit and he was just... I know, I started spinning the tires sure about... <laughs> well, jeez. <laughs> I started spinning the tires about half track. You know me and traction. Took the L on that one. All right, ready for round two? I was spinning all through here, so... Problem was, you were just, just making too much power. Should probably turn down the boost in third gear. Turn down my Turbo Smart Boost Controller. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, round two. Dad Bod Championships. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be same lanes and... Uh, I spot you a love handle. No love handle grabbing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right, here we go. All right, one. Two, three. Oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can still beat him. <laughs> oh, no, the whole doom got me again. <laughs> they got me so bad. That pit. <laughs> I was all the way on the grass. Oh. Dang. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After that result, it's clear that Jeremy is a championship winner here at the Dad Bod Olympics, and uh, well deserved because he is actually a dad. So thanks for watching, Do It for Dale. We'll see you later. Well, dang. Hope you enjoyed your time on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Check out some of our t-shirts. We've got the Do It For Dale t-shirt, the Do It For America t-shirt, and of course the Twin Turbskis t-shirt, all of which can be found in the link in the description below. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and check out this video that we posted earlier this week.